In this video, I will provide you with a method that you can use to lay out your arches if they're going to have a specific measurement. And this, of course, is something I found in one of my old books. I've never used this before, but it works. And for those of you looking for more information about arches, I will put a link in the video description box to that part of our website. So let's go ahead and draw some lines. I'm going to just go straight across here. And you will need to find the center of the opening. So we're going to need the center of the openings. And I will be providing you with two different methods in this video. You can use either one of them, whichever one is going to be easier for your project. And we will need to connect the dots here. We will need to draw a straight line from each one of these points so that we can do something like this. So in this example here, we're going to go from the center line, center of this line here on both sides with our framing square so that we can come off of this line here with a square line, 90 degree angle on both sides of the line here. Or you can use this method here. And of course, you won't need to draw the whole circle. You can just go past a little bit here. And of course, you can lay this out on a sheet of plywood. You don't need to do what I'm doing here in the opening or in the wall framing. It could be a little difficult to do that, but not impossible. You can always just grab a sheet of plywood and attach it to the wall framing here so that you can lay out your lines. And the reason why we're doing this is we're going to use these intersecting points here to create a straight line. And if you use this method here, you don't even need to mark the center here. You can just go from here to here like I'm going to do here. And you can always extend these lines a little further if you need to. So here we're going to use the framing squares and come a little bit further down. And again, something like this might require two sheets of plywood if you're going to lay it out on the floor or lay it out on the opening itself to draw all of these lines. And I would imagine this is going to be a little bit easier than doing this. But again, you will need to choose which one's going to work better for you. So you're going to need to do the same thing to the other side to find the center point of the arch. And again, you might need to extend this line a little further depending upon the width or height of the opening. So here you can see where I just simply connected the line to the intersecting points of the curves that I drew from this center point here and this center point here. Then we can go ahead and draw our arch. This will be the center point and this will be the center point. And of course, no difficult math formulas or calculators for this one. And hopefully this makes sense. However, if it does not, or this looks a little more difficult than one of the other methods I have at my website, then definitely use one of the other ones. So I do have a simple math formula that I got from one of my old construction foremans when I used to do the arches and all the odd shapes for some of the homes that we worked on. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment area and I will answer them as soon as possible. 